Hi you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Porcelain and this is Porcelain's World. So, sis, you are not going crazy. This is, this is not deja vu, okay? <laughs> so, if you have watched my previous video, the setup is exactly the same, the drink is the same, everything is the same. Um, and it's because I am filming three videos in one day um, because I have to get this up for you guys. Cause child, in today's video, we are going to be cash stuffing my taxes. We are going to be cash stuffing my taxes. So yes, I'm trying to do these uploads because honestly, I do not feel comfortable with the amount of money that I have on me. Uh, I don't like it. Mm. Yeah, I just don't like it. So <laughs> we're trying to cash stuff so we can go ahead and deposit this moolah. Okay, anyways. So um, if you are interested in today's video with cash stuffing my taxes, then just stay tuned. All right, you guys. What's up, sis? How are you? Okay, how are you? I'm doing great. You guys, today we're going to be stuffing my, um, my tax return. So in today's video, I'm going to be stuffing a certain amount of money but that is not all that i have received the other portion is left in my account because i don't know as of right now what i want to do with it so um i know a portion of my taxes where i wanted to go and then the second half i don't know where i wanted to go so i wanted to keep it in there for safekeeping because i don't want to basically spend it i should say so let's go ahead and get started all right so let's go ahead and flip back over to march girl march you know this is a little <laughs> a little march madness <laughs> so this is what we're going to be cash stuffing today so do i have my little thing hold on one second y'all because i don't know where it went Do I have it in here? Oh, where did my pinkest budgets thing go? No. You know what? It's probably in my purse and I left my purse in the car. Anyways, um, so this is what we're gonna be stuffing today. You probably can see it right now. So we're gonna be stuffing 5,700 and, oh, sorry, $5,875. The girl, I cannot speak. Oh my God, we, take three. We are going to be stuffing $5,879. Girl, that took a lot to get out because I don't feel comfortable having this amount of money in my house. I'm sorry, I just don't. So, um, yeah. So here is the moolah and I'm going to go ahead and lay it here and then spread it out. This is the money, yes, it's all uneven because baby, like when I went to go take this money out, she didn't even put it in the money machine. I was like, hold on sis, hold on. How you know this the correct amount? She said, oh, the computer does it for us. We just put it in the amount and then the computer spits out the money. I'm like, okay, well I recounted that money when I got up in that car, okay? Cause I don't play that. But anyways, we are going to be stuffing $5,879, okay? Now, I just wanted to say a disclaimer before we get into this. Um, I'm a very positive person. I um, feel that everybody has their own journey and how they want to go through their journey, their finance journey. Um, we are not here to judge anybody um, because what may work for you may not work for others. Not saying that any of my good sisters is like that because everybody on here have been positive, but I have had some people, well, I only had one person who was like really kind of negative underneath my comments. Um, and everybody has to go through their own journey of finances. This is what I already had um, said that I was gonna do with my taxes. So please do not judge me when I go through the cash stuffing. Like I said, this is a portion of my cash stuffing, not all of it, I mean portion of my taxes, not all of it, but this is what I wanna do with this portion of the money. So with that being said, I appreciate every last one of you because honestly, everybody has been so positive. Even when I look at other people's videos about their tax returns, um, a lot of you guys are paying off debt, which is amazing. Amazing. Um, 
and one day I feel like I'm going to get there. Um, but, um, but everybody I have seen, um, when they stuff their taxes, even if it wasn't paying off debt and it was going towards vacation or whatever the case may be, that's cool. Do what you want to do with your money. You have to make the decision that you feel comfortable with your money, not anybody else. Nobody knows your real true story unless you put your whole life on front street a hundred percent. Um, but either way go, even if you do, nobody has the right to judge you, period. I don't believe in that. Um, but i just wanted to put out that disclaimer i know it may be a lot but i don't want nobody judging me for what i'm doing with my tax return yes but before we do oh shit sorry <laughs> let's take our sip now this is the same drink from my last video yes because i'm not finished but i love eating a little strawberry okay and now it's getting that little heat to it now okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna straighten out all this money. <laughs> Girl, I can't even believe I got this even in my hand because I don't like having a lot of money like this, child. Mm -mm. I don't like it at all. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and set this money aside, go ahead and set it up, and then I'll be right back. Just enjoy it while I do this. you guys so this is the money all set up and we're gonna go ahead and get into our cash stuffing so first thing we're gonna go ahead and start off with is my priority binder so let me go ahead and move this over let me move this up let me go ahead and take another silk girl it's cause yeah that's good okay so for my priority we are putting okay so with my priority we are going to fully fund my emergency y'all it is a blessing that even I can you know fully fund this so um right now we have 178 so I'm just going to count it 50 60 70 80 90 100 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78. So 178. We have 178 that's already in here. And then, so 178 minus $1,000, because I want my emergency fund to be 1,000, it's gonna be $822. So we have our first 1,000 slip. Yay! Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're going to take four 100s. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four. Four 100s. We're gonna take um, eight 50s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to take 120. And then we're going to take two dollars okay so let's go ahead and count this oh. girl like i said girl this is a lot of money it's kind of squirmy okay anyways we have one two three four hundred five hundred six hundred seven hundred eight hundred twenty twenty one twenty two so we have our first thousand, you guys. Yay! Okay, where is my 20? All right, so then we're gonna do these hundreds and then we're gonna do these ones. So that is that. All 
All right, so we have our first thousand, which I am going to take to the bank. All right, now, as far as what was going with the scratch off challenge because this is a thousand dollar too this is the pink x budgets um silver challenge i'm still going to do this challenge um so instead of me doing it every week well i wasn't doing it every week anyways um but what i am going to do is i'm going to do it every two weeks so i'm just going to scratch off one diamond um every two weeks that's how i'm going to do it so i think that will suffice now the next thing we're going to stuff is my cushion money and right now my cushion money has $20, it's supposed to be 25 in here. So I guess I spent it on something. I don't know, but either way go, we are going to go ahead and put 75 in there. So that is going to be a, oh, a 50, a 20 and a five. So right now, our cushion has 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95. It's supposed to have 100. I don't know where those $5 went, so we're not gonna worry about it, okay? So that is there. Now for my B-Day, we're gonna skip Dream Home for now, but my B-Day, we should have $10, which is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, which we do. And then for my B-Day, I'm giving myself $90 which is going to be that's where i messed up so no i didn't okay i'm sorry <laughs> so we're going to give myself 90 dollars. so we're going to give ourselves a 50 and two 20s so we're going to have 50 60 70 80 90. So now my birthday has a hundred dollars in its savings fund, which is going to go towards my weekend tickets. I don't know how much the tickets gonna be, but that's what we're doing. All right, so now car maintenance. As you know, girl, I've been dealing with a lot with my car. Um, so I haven't gotten the brakes fixed yet, but we are going to get that done um, because my car maintenance is going to be fully funded. So for car maintenance, I had said I wanted to be 500. So right now we have 110. So let's just make sure we have the 110. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 5, and 10. So let's minus 110. So we need to fund this with 390. So for the 390, I'm gonna take out three 100s. One, two, three. 150, 120. Uh, 110 and two fives. Let's make sure, child, because I don't want to be over. So that's one, two, three hundred, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, eighty-five, ninety. Mm -hmm. Do I have any tens? Yeah, I do have tens. And then the fives. All right, now my car maintenance has $500, which now we get a $500 slip as well. Now I did order them. I did order some slips, some 500 and $1,000 slips. They haven't come in the mail yet, um, so I'm still waiting on those. But we are fully funding our car maintenance. So now self-care, honey, self-care. We're skipping the twins clothes. We're skipping the um, the hair care. We have self care. Now my self care is going to be getting a hundred dollars. This is for mommy, so that's going to be five twenty. So 20, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. We are doing self care, and this is most likely gonna be gone because sis i still ain't get no wax because wax went up really high um but yeah it's probably gonna be for that but anyways so the next thing i wanted to fund was christmas as you guys know last year was kind of whoo so for christmas i am going to fund christmas not all the way but i am going to give it some money 
So for Christmas, I have Christmas getting $100 and that is two fifties. So we're gonna get one, two. And so now Christmas has 50, 100, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 115. It's better than what I did last year, okay? All right, so this is done. It's getting a little chunky now too. All right, you guys, so the next thing that I want to go ahead and fund is um, my, my main priority. So we're gonna open up that date night. You guys know how I feel about my date night. I really wanna date myself. I have two gift cards in here, one for Ruth Chris, one for um, J. Alexander's, which I am gonna go to, but we did pull from our good old jar here, uh, the secret Tiki Temple, which I am gonna take myself out and I'm going to film that um, as well. So that's gonna be a vlog, so look out for that one. All right, so, but for my date night, I do wanna go ahead and fund it with $100. So we're gonna do 520, so that's one, two, three, four, five. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten. I know that Tiki Temple probably not gonna be no $100, but I do wanna go ahead and start that off. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is, Mm, where is it? Is it not in here? Oh, right here. It's film code. Now, this is my business. Now, for my business, because I have to recertify like my year certification and I have to um, go ahead and pay my registered agent um, for my business, um, in total, I need $400. But I don't have to have this $400 until May. But I want to go ahead and start it off at least getting the money for my registered agent because I think that's coming up soon. Um, it's probably gonna come up in April if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna do 165. So that is gonna be 1 100, 150, yeah, 1 100, 150, 110, and 15. 110 and 15. Oh, that's two fives. Okay, let's put that back. Okay, so we're gonna do 165. So it's 150, 60, and then five. And girl, state filing fees is high as I don't know what. Like, I ain't know that darn high, but whatever. You just gotta do what you gotta do. All right, so um, the next thing we're going to do is school clothes. School clothes is a big thing for me. My kids do wear uniform in the school that they're going to next year. It's not the same school that they're going to now. So um, they will have uniforms again, which I'm grateful for because buying clothes for toddler, well, kid, little kids um, can get very expensive, you know, cause you gotta buy them throughout the year. You gotta buy August, then you gotta buy winter clothes cause now we get winter. And then now you have to buy spring clothes. Like, and if they're in school, those clothes, they get it dirty really quick. So I'm glad they have uniforms. Is, it, is there any moms like that? like that like that their kids wear uniform i do i do so all right so for their school clothes they are getting a whopping 250. last year i budgeted for school clothes and school clothes was around um around a thousand dollars yeah girl let me tell you so the school that they went to the school that they go to I don't know if everybody's like this, but you know how some schools you can um, you can buy like the shirts from Walmart, Target, just it has to be blue, red, white, or whatever. And then you can buy the khaki bottoms. Not their school. So you can buy the regular khaki and navy bottoms, but you have to get special shirts. And there are special shirts from the only uniform place that makes it because it has to have embroidery with their school. Girl, each shirt was $30. So that added up real quick because I bought six because they had to have um, an outfit for every day. So I bought um, shirts and I bought a dress. The dress was expensive on its own because I think the dress was like almost 40. But um, they had to have like Monday through Friday. And then they also had to have an extra one just in case they mess up their clothes. So they had to have an extra outfit. So I bought six different outfits. Um, and that was really expensive. Well, actually, I bought 12 because I have two kids, you know. And it, 
yeah so i'm hoping that the new school that they go to um oh girl just got dark out of nowhere okay anyways um I'm hoping the school that they go to doesn't have the same, um, doesn't utilize the same place for the uniforms that the old school did, because if it does, then it's going to be high. So right now I'm budgeting for a thousand dollars, um, but I'm going to go ahead and put it aside 250. So we're going to put two 100s and a 50. So one, two, and then a 50. So this is 250. All right. And then the next thing we're gonna do is our um, long-term savings. All right, here is our long-term savings. And for our long-term savings, we're only gonna be stuffing one. And that is going to be my babies. So right now they have 60 bucks in here. Do they have 60? Yeah, they only have 60. Okay, so let's see, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35. Oh, oh wait, 10, 20. 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 70 80, 59 60 oh girl how long they got a little bit more let's see one they got 65 so i am giving my kids 440 dollars because i thought they had 60 so and we have them 440 dollars which is the 500 dollars challenge that i wanted to do for them anyways so right now we are halfway funded because as you guys know, because I have twins, I was doubling this money. So it's going to be a thousand. So right now they're halfway through. So as you know, I'm going to be using this um, to still do the challenge, the pink X budgets. I'm still going to do it, but I just want to go ahead and give them a little bit of a head start. And this is going to be $440. So we're going to get four $100 bills. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to give them um, two 20s, which is going to be one, two. Yes, four 20s. Yeah, okay. So now all together, now my babies, they get a $500 slip. Oh, so, okay. Anyways, so they get 100, 200, 300, 400, two, four, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, well, 500, 500, 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, to my girl, do not laugh at me. Oh my God. <laughs> they get one, two, three, four, five. So they have $505. Yay. And this is going straight to the bank, baby. So I got to get a back to bank. Well, actually this will be my first time utilizing because you guys remember I had end up um, opening up some Chase, not Chase, girl, some Capital One savings accounts and you have to do that through CVS. So I was going through the process on my phone. It's pretty neat. So um, yeah, we're gonna see that because I'm gonna have that, yeah. They're gonna be backed up when I go because I'm going today. Anyways, so um, that is it for that. Now, you may be thinking, porcelain, girl, you got a lot of cash sitting up here. And that's because I wanted to save this for last. And that's because we are fully funding this yes this is the disney trip we are funding the disney trip so let's go ahead and get it together so i ain't even gonna open it we're just gonna count so the disney binder is getting three thousand three hundred and forty seven dollars so let's go ahead and count. So with this binder, <laughs> girl, it's getting 30 100. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30 100s. 
let me let me let me flip the mouse over so we're getting 31 hundreds we're getting four fifties one two three four we're getting t uh five twenties one two three four five Let me move you over here so we can go ahead and do this. All right, kind of you can see it sideways now. Let me move you up. All right, and then we're getting four tens. One, two, three, four. We're getting one five and two ones. Now this is the binder that I feel that a lot of people may judge because um, you know people will say oh you don't have to take your kids to Disney this could have went towards your debt I understand that part but I did go ahead and put in my first quarter goals that debt was not on the list for first quarter my main thing was to fund my the Disney trip for my kids um, Yes, this could have went towards debt, but I didn't choose it to go towards debt. Like I said, I still have some money that's in my account that I don't know exactly what I want to do with it next. There are some things that have came up. Um, there are some things that um, have to be rectified soon. Um, so that's why the other portion of the money is in limbo. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, but I have it there for a cushion. I don't want to say too much right now because I don't want to uh, bring it. I don't, I don't want to just say anything right now. Just know that depending on what the outcome may be, it depends on which way I need to go. Like I said, I move, um, I move intentionally. So I don't want to put it in a place that I know it may have to come out because of certain things. So with that being said, my kids' Disney trip is fully funded. $3,347. So, I am not going to stuff this right now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it right here. And you guys just have to wait until the next video to see what happens with the kids disney trip and where we're stuffing all of this money okay all right you guys again thank you for um watching this video again like i said i do appreciate every last one of you um i know this community is a great community and it's a non-judgmental community um uh, this like i always tell people this is like the best community to be on youtube like period people are understanding people are compassionate and i just love my budgeting community i'm not about to tear up y'all oh my god <laughs> but anyways um again thank you so much for watching today's video please comment like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye